Well, hello everyone and welcome to iRacing. Now you can see what we're doing here, kinda sorta. Let's turn that pit limiter off. Um, I'm testing the new uh, Ford Falcon V8 supercar. I just got home from work. It's 4.02 p.m. It's been out all day. A lot of you have probably already seen it. Um, but I figured I'd give my first impression of it. I've, I've always had, I've always loved these V8 supercars. I mean, l listen to this. Take it out of gear, stupid. I've always loved these cars, and I'm just not good at driving them. I got a huge respect for people that, that can actually drive these competitively. But another good thing in today's update, look at that pit guy. Look at the, 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 the animations. Look, you see those old pit guys just standing there. Look at this guy looks a ton better anyway I'm not driving this this car is on uh, week 13 or I guess week 7 if you will at Phillip Island I'm actually driving the Daytona road course because that's probably what I'm used to more than any which I'm still no good at as you guys heard last time I'm uh, no good at road courses no good at road cars or anything but uh, let's take her for a spin I haven't even painted it yet it's so embarrassing it's just a white car I just got it and with my, uh, you know, discount because I'm a 100% content owner and my $6, six credit, I only paid like two fifty for the car, so here we go. Listen to that thing. Just amazing. Now remember, like I said, I'm not very good at, well, I'm not good at racing, let alone road racing. Daytona would have to, in my opinion at least, have to be one of the easiest. One of the reasons I like it so much. My frames really suck right now. I think I have too much stuff running in the background. Uh, you know, my computer's more than capable, but I've got a whole lot of crap. My desktop sidebar probably kills a lot of processing power. And uh, high speed runs a little bit. Three minute 55.135. Not quite sure what to expect out of this car yet. definitely more handleable. You can uh, toss it around a little more, in my opinion, than the old Ford Falcon. Woo! On the brakes a little too hard there. Oh, and on the gas too hard there. It's definitely going to be a fun car to paint, I know that. Not sure if I'll ever race it, but I'll definitely paint it as I paint just about every other car. I really enjoy the painting process. Sounds kind of stupid, I know, but I like it. In fact, I like the painting process so much I should probably get better at it and try, you know, 
painting cars for other people, but I mean, I like to paint my cars, oh, the ones I race at least, pretty plain, they're just white, they've got my jbird.us website, and uh, I put the YouTube logo, I put the YouTube logo on all of them because, uh, well, all my races are on YouTube. Even though I haven't been racing a lot, I mean, in the last six months or so, I... I really, really like it. Um, I hope to someday be good enough to actually compete in the uh, VA Supercar Series. I'm sure I'd put a lot more time into it if I could actually make a time slot, but... I think it only goes official once in a blue moon, probably in a predetermined by a, by a group of people that enjoy the cars. So, uh, yeah, not good for me. One minute fifty one point eight one. sure if I need to come down to first in this corner. Makes it, oh, hoo, hello. Awesome. Yeah, I really like it. But, you know what? The problem is, you know, I am American, so the first thing on the top of my head is, can it do a burnout? Oh, that was sad.
Okay, I think it passed the test, huh? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Crash. Oh, we didn't crash. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll go check out this other view now. Ooh, see, not even painted. Sure is a nice looking car though. Yeah, awesome looking car. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I won't uh, make you endure any more torture by continuing watching, if you still are, that is. Uh, maybe we'll see you on the track of this car someday, if I ever get good enough.